guys welcome back to my channel my name is Simi for those who don't know and today I really wanted to do this hot neon pink makeup look um, using the Anastasia Rivera palette and then the Morphe James Charles palette please subscribe to my channel and check out my latest video right over here on top give it a like don't forget to like this video if you guys enjoyed are enjoying it so far I guess or if you're gonna enjoy this look later on, please like it. You know, it helps me a lot. So yeah, I guess let's just, let's get started in, you know, enough of me just rambling for 10 minutes straight about stupid shit. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, I have you zoomed in a little too close. So you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. camo concealer. And I'm going to put that on my eyelids to prep them. And then I'm just going to take the Morphe sponge. Uh, I just got on some under my eyes, but that's okay. I'm going to just blend that in so we have a nice clean base. Okay. I have a little bit of eyelash glue left from previous video. Because I just made a video on the 10 minute makeup challenge. And then I had to take my makeup off to film this. So we're just going to prep our eyelids real quick. And I'm going to start off with the Morphe James Charles palette. I'm going to use the yellow shade and the orange shade. Well, specifically, I think I'm going to start off with the orange shade. I'm going to take um, this Vera 65E large shading brush. There's no pigment on it whatsoever. And I'm going to just dab in into the orange shade. And I'm going to do this eye, maybe this eye for you guys. Yeah, it's easier to see. And I'm just going to put that in the crease and just blend it out like this. Also, if you guys don't have the e.l.f. concealer, you can pretty much use any concealer you have or um, eyeshadow primer. I don't really waste money on um, eyeshadow primers because I, I feel like concealers work even better than the primers for your eyelids. And I'm going to just keep blending this. And then I'm going to grab that little bit more red shade that's in the palette and just do the same thing. Just kind of buff that into it just lightly that's all for this palette and I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Rivera palette and I'm gonna use more of a flat brush it's like a flatter blending brush just like this, one of these. And I'm gonna take that hot pink eyeshadow and just pack that on the lid. And we're gonna pack that on the lid like this. And we can just slowly start taking that little high. keep packing that on so it's nice and vibrant and I'm gonna take the same brush we used earlier for that orange shade and just kind of blend everything in so it's not so patchy and I'm gonna take that Monte Carlo shade and Anastasia palette and the Rivera palette And I'm going to take that flat brush again and try to just pack that pink shade on because it keeps coming off. And I really want it to be really super like hot pink. Just like that. And I'm going to go back into the Morphe palette, the James Charles palette. And I'm going to take the same blending brush we used earlier and I'm going to grab more of that orange shit and mix up a little bit of the yellow Ooh, 
It looks beautiful. What do you guys think? I'm going to clean this up. It looks really pretty. And I'm going to finish the other eye of the camera, put on some lashes, and then we're going to go and finish the rest of the face. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back with the lashes. They're still drying a little bit in the other eye, but this eye look came out so pretty. Wow. I feel beautiful. And these lashes, lashes I use are, I believe, the House of Lashes in Style Siren. And yeah. They look really pretty with this eye look because they're like a little bit more spiky so the pink is like coming through it really nicely. Alright, let me quickly finish the rest of my face. I'm going to use the Pure Lee's Blue Lotus Moisturizer. I'm going to take a little amount and then just put that on my face. And then for the foundation, I want to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. It's one of my new favorite foundations ever since I tried it out in the Full Face of Makeup Revolution, which is, I'm going to link that up here so you guys can watch that. And I tried it out for the first time, and since then, I absolutely fell in love with the foundation. And now we're just going to blend that in, just like this. Alright, for the foundation, that's all. I'm going to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, bridge up my nose, and my chin. And then we're going to start blending that out. Alright, that's all for the concealer. It's a little bit too pale for me, if you guys can see. But we're going to bronze everything up. And then I'm going to use this Rimmel London powder. It's, I think, I believe it's a little tinted, so it'll make everything look a little bit better. Because right now, we, I look like a ghost. I'm not going to lie. Alright, that's all for the powder. And I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. Alright, that's all for the bronzer. I'm going to go in with the Lovecraft Beauty uh, Blush Palette. It's one of my favorite blush palettes ever. And it's pretty, like, neutral. So, I really want to go in with this shade right here. Or actually, let me take this one. I feel like this one will look a little bit better. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. brush, dab that in. And put that on my cheeks. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty shade. I'm going to just put that on top. Oh yeah, that looks really pretty. And then the same thing on this cheek. Alright. And then for the highlight, I'm going to use the Milani Strobe Light Afterglow Highlighter. And then when you open it, this is the color. It's a really pink champagne color. And then I'm going to just wet my brush with some Fix Plus so the highlight pops up a little bit more. And I'm going to go in and then put that on my cheek. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. And I think this highlight is only $8. A little bit of my nose. Put a little bit on my cheek. Oh, that's pretty. Alright, that's all for the highlight, and I'm going to take a small pencil brush, put that in my inner corner, like the highlight, just kind of give a little nice pop of color, just like this, and then I'm going to grab the same colors we used for the top, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Alright guys, I finished the lower lash line, put some mascara on, this is the eye look, a little close up. And then for the lipstick, I want to use the Lancome Rosy Plump Lip Gloss. I'm going to put that on real quick. I'm not trying to have like a, you know, super crazy lip since the eye, like we want to focus the attention on the eyes. So I'm just using this Rosy Lip Plumbing Lip Gloss. It's one of my favorites. Oh, 
All right, we're done with the lip gloss. We're done with the lip gloss. This is the finished look. I'm absolutely obsessed, guys. Like, you know how I said that the Kim K Megala look was my favorite? I'm pretty sure this is my second favorite. Like, I just look so good. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this hot neon pink makeup tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, turn on that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I post a new video. And follow me on Instagram, which is semi underscore violet. I'm gonna have the link down below in the description box. That way you guys can know what I'm planning on posting a video and you know just more makeup looks in general and you guys can keep up with my super interesting life <laughs> so yeah i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye